<laughs> they will. They will. They oh, will. Oh, hi. <laughs> We haven't even got, we're just getting on the air. We're already having a great time. I'm sorry you missed it. No, it's funny. Uh, what were you telling me about the muffins? Oh, I'll tell you later on, and you'll find out for sure later on. Well, Lave is doing brand muffins today, so uh, you can just imagine what the conversation is right. all about. Well, aren't these flowers lovely? They came out of Doris's yard. Oh, well, they're real. They I are. thought they were some no. of those plastic jobs. And here it is, when we're taping this, I don't know, we ought not to tell this because I know everybody thinks it's live right on their personal line, but we're taping this in the dead of winter in February. But I remember and when... And these things have bloomed. That's the kind of winter we've had in these parts. Well, now that in itself is shocking, but I am still a little shocked because I remember Doris always had all those plastic mm. flowers <laughs> all over her Yeah, she, she has the famous silk flower farm uh -huh, in she Franklin does. County. And she, she grows silk flowers. Now, if you'd like to know more about that, just write to Doris here. It, well, if we were at WGBH, she'd have her own show growing <laughs> silk flowers. <laughs> if we were at WGBH, we'd have our own show. Hey, listen, i got to tell you. Carol Jennings, our lovely directress, uh -huh. I suppose, wanted us, she did not want us to miss out on this. She recently stayed, I don't know whether I should mention this, at a major hotel. Uh. <laughs> we don't know what Carol was doing at this major hotel, and we're oh, not asking questions. It sounds like you're Pat Sajak, and we're on the beginning of Wheel of Fortune, where they work for a major insurance company. Is that right? But she says she knows how you and I are always just carrying on about how everything is sealed for our protection. Uh -huh. And she says she wants us to know that this particular <laughs> company has sealed the the shampoo has sealed bottle. the shampoo for our protection. There it is. Little, little say, so you just never know when someone's had this on their greasy head and it'll kill you. Oh, no, no. You, they don't want you to have anybody shoot you a, just a terrible, bad, evil uh, shampoo. pile of shampoo. <laughs> might have something in it and make all your hair come out or and turn it, it some look, noxious color. And it says, sealed for <laughs> your protection. <laughs> right on it. Everything is sealed for your protection. Oh, it's We got so some good. letters? Yes, we do. <laughs> Dear boys, on Saturday around 4 p.m. I start keeping an eye on the clock. I don't want to miss your show. My daughter can't see what I see in the show, but what does she know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. you both, although I'm writing my family history. I take time out to watch Laban and Larry cook and cheat. Oh. Keep pitching, you make my Saturday love, Teresa King. And, well, <laughs> Teresa, that's from Rustburg, Virginia. That's Teresa, we thank you so much, and we're glad that you recognize what a low dog your daughter is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what I thought he was going to say. Uh, this person says, uh, enjoy the show. Been looking for a brittle recipe that does not call for baking soda in the ingredients. Thanks a million. You know that brittle recipe is probably one of the most famous ones we've ever done on this show. But you know, you, you have to have the baking soda in it to make it get uh, real snappy and hard. So there isn't one. You won't find one without baking soda. Oh, well, I didn't make it, so I didn't remember it didn't have any. Mm -hmm. Well, so you still no, don't have one. No, we did have, have some. That's what, I, oh, that's, he uh, wants yeah. it without. P.S. Got five pounds of shelled black walnuts for Christmas, so we'll enjoy your brittle. You'll also have a conniption fit because it's got that ingredient in there. <laughs> That's uh, from Mrs. Harry Precht of Cape Corral, Florida, Cape Coral, Florida. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cape Corral. That's here. in the western part of Florida. <laughs> Be because, <laughs> because you've been so kind to write this letter, we're sending you this lovely shampoo <laughs> sealed for your protection. All right. What? Uh, dear sirs, you all make my day each week with your wonderful sense of humor. Keep up the good work. Many thanks for your show, and that's from Kate Underwood. Hope you have a happy Valentine's Day, and that's from Bristol, Virginia. Well, Kate, thank you so much, and you make our day by writing us such a nice letter. <laughs> Cooking cheap. I sat down yesterday, going through the channels, looking for a movie, <laughs> and came across your show. She thought it was one of those cheap Thought it was Italian gone movies. with the wind. <laughs> 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 and uh, I love it for I love to cook. I would like to have recipe, blah, 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 and please add the beer batter for the fish. I think we had a beer batter a couple of years ago, or was that the beer barrel polka? <laughs> I can't remember. Because I love, uh, I have never got your show before, but we'll try to be looking for it from now on. Thank you, Janie Lanier, who invented the Lanier word processor <laughs> of Hurt, Virginia. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. and I know she's rich. Talking she's got to be fabulous. Oh, well. yeah. You know, talking about Gone with the Wind, wonder what characters we would have played. You'd probably played one of those Wilks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over.
over here to the uh, to the old cooking cheap set and the startling overhead shot, <laughs> <laughs> which gets more startling as every week goes by. Who can argue with that? You know what I'm doing? Speaking of don't know nothing about my what? boiling water. <laughs> I am. I'm boiling well, water. It looks like you had a whole lot of water in there and it kind of kind of boiled out on you. Well, it did. I, I do need to add just a little bit. I am purportedly <laughs> taking two cups. I want to ask you about this. All right. Let's talk. <clears throat> Come over here, chump. Let's just talk a little bit about this All recipe. Right. I want to tell you what this recipe calls for before we show it on the air. Now, I don't know whether it's shown on the air this way. What is this teaspoon one teaspoon salt of the earth. Well, I do you know? Now I'm going to tell you something. I went flying around for about five minutes and went salt of the earth. What in the world? Now that is that opposed to something that's at the ocean or? And then suddenly I realized that you had gotten real cute with me because here is two cups of oh, water of life, very hot, <laughs> and one and a half cups of milk of kindness. <laughs> Well, see, I'd been studying my Sunday school lesson in the upper room, and uh, <laughs> and I'd kind of gotten biblical. <laughs> so you know, salt to the earth, the Sunday <laughs> school lesson, water of life, milk okay. of human kindness, yeah. all that. You know, I just thought it was appropriate to, you know. It's uh, real cute. I'm going to make southern spoon bread. Oh, good. And I am indeed boiling water, <laughs> which is the first thing I have to do. I've got to add a little to it. Why don't you just get right on with yours, and then we'll be back. Well, I can't. Because I don't think i got to start Wait right Wait a minute. Now. Doris, I, don't, I need a measuring cup. Well, I, I have I a baby measuring cup. Here's a half a cup. All right. If you want to use that. Here, here uh. we go, Doris. I got it. He can use two of those for every one that he needs. Two for one. Two right. for one. I, all right, I'm doing brand Two muffins for of life. <laughs> brand I'm doing muffins the brand of muffins of life. What is this of life routine we've I don't gotten know. into? I need here. a spoon now to get the flour <laughs> out of the cup. The well, man I is do. not prepared well, for I'm, this show. Oh, here's the cup. He thought he was down here here's a cup, to do some but kind of an interview program. But, well, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm just waiting for Laban to get check organized. Check spoon bread, Dora says. Check the, oh, i got to check my spoon bread in the oven. Anyway, I'm doing these bran muffins, and they're real good for you. They clean your arteries out so that if you've got heart trouble, all that cholesterol will be cleaned out by these bran muffins. I want a knife. Among other things. What, am I depressed? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm checking my spoon bread. I had to put my spoon bread in early. You know, there's no way you can pre-prepare spoon bread. You can't prepare it the night before. That's you have one to do cup. it right now. Is this a, is this a half a cup, Dora? Well, the old cooking cheap oven has come through again. Forty minutes for every thirty you need it in the oven. <laughs> There's not enough power in this well, place. I'll just keep this. All right, here's one. I said I need one more of these to get two cups of flour. Just trying to get in your shot. Oh, <clears throat> I need some more. All right. Now, now take your time, Johnson. <laughs> oh well, I will. Oh, I've got. Too much. Take your time. I'm going to take another There's one of these. two cups of flour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I've been a little nervous today. I should say so. <laughs> now, this is oat bran. Oh. And uh, isn't there a big, hasn't there, i got to rephrase this a little bit. Ha, isn't oat bran all of a sudden in big demand nationally now? Yes, it is. You can't hardly get it. That's at the what store. I thought. I was going to say, it hasn't there been a run on oat bran? But I don't. And know. And I'm what, using a cup and a half it. of it. No, it's true. It's real hard to get. I had to buy this. There we go. Oat bran, and it says, you know, high fiber hot cereal. This is the three minute kind. Do you ever eat oat bran for breakfast? Are you kidding? <laughs> No, but it, it's delicious in cookies and, and muffins and stuff. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey or sugar. So I got this honey. Well, what's it going to be? I want. Oh, look! It's not sealed for our protection. Well, you're right. Well, you can trust bees. <laughs> 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 Who could argue with that? I notice also, by the way, that that's not the <laughs> that that's not the Wilkinses. Uh, honey, I will know. he be no, uh, there, hurt out, No, no, I think he's out of it right now. He's not out of it. He just sent me a big jar of it last week. Well, the dirty dog, <laughs> I don't have any. He did. You know what? I did the show a couple of weeks ago, and I needed it. I mm -hmm. used up the last of it, and he sent me. So although it was a little dirty, he said, it had some of that, what oh, is it, no. the, the comb? 
yeah, comb uh, yeah. is in there. But I don't mind that. I like that waxy stuff. I and like I it. need I really a do. teaspoon and a half of soda or a quarter of soda. Uh oh. And I don't mean a soft drink. This is the the bacon kind. Not soda pop. Mm -mm. And I need some salt, but I don't. Well, have the things it. you find in this drawer. Oh, Lord, here's a there's a slide of the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> Well, why in the world do you wreck somebody to have a slide of the Grand Ole Opry in our drawer? I don't well, get it. I don't this place maybe, confuses me. I think Roy Acuff was on that other <laughs> show they do here. <laughs> if you've seen it, it wouldn't surprise you. <laughs> All right, now I'm, I'm going to put the zest of an orange. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just realized that I was not properly quaffed before I went on. So I'm quaffing myself. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm zesting this orange. <laughs> <laughs> and Do you worry a little bit about having the word sun-kissed run into your, uh, flop in there with the no, rest of that no, stuff? No, no, that's edible diet. Oh, okay. I was just worried about it. You know, a couple of weeks ago I had the real thing on the program. What? Real fresh oranges from Florida mm -hmm. without anything on them, written on what top of them. What do you think this them. one is, plastic or something? <laughs> but this I is mean, before... they spent millions of dollars genetically altering these oranges so that the sun kissed would come out like a stigmata on oh, the orange. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh. Jeezy. Doesn't surprise me. 25 shows in, we start getting real good. <laughs> <laughs> One more left, we're going to be fabulous. <laughs> I love that zester. I will have to admit, Mr. Johnson has given me a lot of wonderful things down through the years for my kitchen. And, one, and believe it or not, something so simple as this zester is, I just stand <laughs> I around that. for hours on weekends, just having such a good time. The neighbors haven't seen me out for months. Just This is a note to the guys and gals in the control room. Maureen, you'll die for making that remark. <laughs> What did she say? Oh, she made an and evil remark. And how did remark. you hear her? Well, I can tell by the way Mary reacted. She's out there going <laughs> totally nuts. Well, they say rude stuff about us back there oh, all the I time, know they but do. I've kind of gotten used to well, it. I sort of like it. They'll regret it when we're gone. Okay. <laughs> well, are we going to be? Do you know something oh, yes. I don't? You hadn't heard? All right. Now, this is all the dry stuff and the honey, and now I've got to do some uh, wet things over here together to make this recipe go. Larry, you want to start on you yours? You've got to do some wet I'm, things. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm I've got to have four, uh, let me just tell them this, four <laughs> tablespoons of melted margarine. Indian giver gives it to me and it takes it back again. I'm going to take this baking dish. And another thing. <laughs> <laughs> this baking dish, and I'm going to throw it up against Johnson's head. <laughs> no, I'm going to take this baking. This is what, one and a half quarts? Yeah. And I'm going to take just a little bit of this. I like this butterized flavored vegetable short. It doesn't matter whose it is, but I kind of like it. I think it's real nice, especially for a dish like this. And you should grease thoroughly this thing. Otherwise, you're going to get in a lot of trouble later on when you try to, well, I mean, it's not like a cake. You don't have to drop it out, but still, you don't want it sticking all over everything. So just be real. Just get in there and just have a real good time with it. Invite neighbors over if you want to and help out. There you go. Now, go, ah, excuse me. This has been on the, on the stove a good while. And you know, oh, I'll just add a little more milk to it in a little bit. Are you confused thus far? I know I am. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get the water hot. Ordinary water and it's hot right now. If I was to stick my hand down in there, it'd just be an awful scene. Uh, now what we've got to do is we've got to take a cup of yellow stone ground meal. And I had to look around a little tad bit, but there's some from not so far away from here. Where's it from? No preservatives, artificial coloring, or flavor? BHA or BHT? Oh. Or VHS or uh, Isn't that one of those HBO. <laughs> what? You this has a... You know, I hate to say this, Lave, but this thing has a southern spoon bread recipe on backup. It's better than what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing this one. I don't know where this is from. It's near here, Gainesville, Missouri. Oh, <laughs> it's not even close to being here. Anyway, now a nice big cup of that. 
Yellowstone ground cornmeal and put that in there. And it'd be a very good idea if you take a little whisk and whisk it around because you don't want it to get take lumpy. A what? Whisk. Oh. Whisk. <laughs> and whisk it around because you don't want it to get lumpy. <laughs> and uh, put it aside because you don't want it to get real thick either. And besides that, you need to cool it down a little bit. What else? A teaspoon of salt of the earth. Just use your imagination. And a tablespoon of shortening. You know, Mama doesn't love shortening. <laughs> Good heavens. A little bit of shortening. That, I, we could have been killed in here. I had that gas on. I, it you was know, coming I out needed of there. to say this, but I had been smelling something for some time, and I, well, I don't want to tell you what I thought it was, but anyway. I'll swear. Where's my cup? I don't, your cup. I just had a cup. What Where, kind of cup? The where's, measuring cup. Where's, oh, it's in the meal. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I thought somebody come in here taking it out. Now, what we need to do is uh, mm -hmm. we need to have one and a half cups of milk. All right, one and a half. There's one and a half. And I'm going to put just a little bit more in because some of my water had boiled out. Wouldn't you just know? And we're going to put that back on because you don't want it to get real lumpy like it just had. <laughs> no, it's <good. laughs> Shut up, Johnson. <laughs> It'll be all right. I'm, I'm whisking it out right now. Well, now, here, you let me do it no, for no, you. No, 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 no. Now, don't burn your sweater on that hot fire. Now, you don't want it to get too hot at this point. When you put your milk in, would be a good time to pull <coughs> it off the stove. You know why? Why? Because you need to take two eggs and beat them up and put them in there. You don't want it to be too hot when you put the eggs in them. Just Fry cook them, them eggs. Cook, cook them. them. Cook them right and you don't up. want that to happen. So when you put your milk in, would be a very good time, and you cool it down, to put your eggs in. Just pull it off the stove. Take two eggs and break them. And take them and just beat up on them a little <coughs> bit. Like so. And now you got to put that into the mix also. That and the milk at the same time. Be a very good timing for that. All right? Now, after you've mixed it up thoroughly, which we're doing, would be a very good time to put it back on. And now you've got to cook it for five minutes until it is thickened, which it will do very quickly. And, and I'll be back in five minutes. Oh, you mean I get to do some more? <laughs> All right, now here's a bowl in which I have beat up one egg with this fork. And it's got a good it, ring to it. Yes, it does. Turn my gas to it. I'm going to add a half a stick of butter, or margarine. Actually, it is here in the South. They're interchangeable, except we don't use butter. And two cups of buttermilk. Ooh, and you know that's got to be good. I hate buttermilk. <laughs> oh, that's right. You do. Don't I you? don't like it worth a hoot. Well, that's what but, it goes. but I do like it in. You know, biscuits and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It was made to be hidden away in flour. That's what buttermilk was made for. Now, to this, I've got to add one half cup of molasses. Oh, good heavens, I hadn't checked this stuff in six weeks. Well, is it burned? Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's all right, Doris, don't freak out. <laughs> Well, it's still not done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> 73 minutes in this oven, it's still not done. 30 minutes is all it's supposed to go. Well, you remember when degrees. we started out on this season of shows, we had that meeting with the powers around here. <laughs> the powers and, that be. And we said uh -huh. that one of the major things we needed was something done with these ovens because <laughs> they don't cook right, and they said at the time, that it was because there wasn't enough power in here to do all of this. Mm -hmm. But anyway, all right, now I've added my molasses. Now, all of this wet stuff now goes down into the dry stuff, and I will I don't think I've ever mix heard a recipe it up. like this. All the wet stuff goes in the dry stuff, mm -hmm. and it's strange. And now I'm just going to mix it around with the spoon. You could use a a mixer if you wanted to, but you don't absolutely have to. Muffins don't have to, to be beaten up real tight. There oh, we go. Oh, look at this, Laban. 
The stuff is turned into molten, molten lava. Oh. oh, my heavens, it's flying all over the place. Get a good overhead shot of that. you got to see that. Now, if you wanted to know what Mount St. Helens was all about, <laughs> oh, my heavens, that's horrible. <laughs> I'll tell you what to do with that when it stops spurting around. Right. I'm not going to touch all it right, right well, now. All right, well, now, here's our, our batter for our muffin mix, and you can see the orange rind and everything in it, and you just put it in muffin pans, and you bake it in Do you a, grease the muffin pans? You don't have to. 350 minutes. Well, don't you think that's right important? 350 degrees, <laughs> unless it's in this For oven. six <laughs> hours. <laughs> on the Bake it sheet. at 350 for 20, 25 minutes until they're brown. Hmm. So that's all. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out here in a minute. All right. Now, here's what I'm going to do. You take this now when it starts getting thick. Now, that's very nice and thick. All right. It's thickened up. And pour it into your pre-greased bowl like so, and you put that in the oven and bake it for <clears throat> 30 minutes, 350 degrees. It's not going to rise much. There's not much in it to rise. That's not what spoon bread's all about. So anyway, well, look at them. Southern spoon bread, one cup of yellow stone ground cornmeal. Don't get uh, self-rising. It's not necessary. A teaspoon of salt of the earth, a tablespoon of shortening that mama loves so much. Two cups of water of life, very hot. <laughs> I can't stand it. Two eggs and one and a half cups of the milk of kindness. Something that's not been seen on this set for some time. <laughs> Go ahead. Bran muffins of life. Mm -hmm. uh, two cups of flour, one and a half cups of oat bran if you can get it. Two tablespoons of sugar or honey. A quarter teaspoon of salt. One and a quarter teaspoons of soda. Not a soft drink, but the kind in a box. Two tablespoons of grated orange rind. That's about one orange grated. Two cups of buttermilk, one egg, a half cup of molasses, and four tablespoons of melted margarine butter. And that will make your very delicious brand muffins. Are we going to have uh, the kitchen yes, witch? Yes, uh, Ms. Ms. Witch in? told me that she did have a communication for us. I hope and we'll so. come right out because, you know, we need her. And, and well, I do, do warn everybody about these muffins. <laughs> if you want to fly around <coughs> like Miss Witch, <laughs> these muffins, <laughs> I'll tell you, these muffins will do a number on you. Oh, my God. <laughs> they will work. Well, Lord, what a rude piece of stationery. Hey, fellas, how's about some cake recipes? And I don't mean pancake, which you both need to wear. What's going on? You both are so pale, you look like you've been in jail. And it's signed Elizabeth Arden, Roanoke, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> well, and thanks. everybody knows that she is in Roanoke, <laughs> yeah. Virginia. That's true. Thank you, Elizabeth. So anyway, oh, I'm going to take this writing, out. Right. I don't care whether it's ready well, or here's not. Here's a spoon. Here's a spoon. Oh, that you, can for the, use you can't to, have spoon bread without, without a spoon. spoon. That's right. Well, you know the stuff's we getting just right. We used to have it with molasses. And too. I think if we eat it off the edge, we'll be safe. <laughs> I think we will. It is starting to get brown on top. Oh, Let me it just looks take fine. a little bit off the edge here. I think it's going to be all right. Oh, oh it's yeah. perfect. It's, it is. It's just right. Well, just perhaps not quite just right, but very close to just right. Oh, sit down. Gee, they're getting huffy with me. Well, pass me one of those. Right, Let me... Here, have one of these. You know, I'd like to have a little muffins. extra butter to put on this. Uh -huh. But I don't, so right. I guess I'll just and sit here. I want everybody to look at this little muffin. Uh, it's got <laughs> ears. This Looks is a like Mickey, Mickey Muffin. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey Muffin. muffin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, me, Mickey Muffin. That's All right. the way it came out. Well, let's try this stuff and I'll scorch my tongue and scream in pain. How is it? Oh, it's real hot. Mm, mm. Well, have a, a muffin. It's real hot and real raw, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Is it really? Mm-hmm. This is real good and right dry. <laughs> no, it's pretty well, good. It needs some jam it, it or does. butter It does. It needs some jam or butter on it. But it'll do a real good job on you. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> figure by this time tomorrow, Maureen is going to be right because, mm. you know, she'll, <laughs> she'll run out to eat all this stuff. Well, what do you think of spoon bread? <laughs> it's very hot. It's molten. <laughs> it is molten Actually, lava, it's pretty good. But it is good. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, and I hope your oven works by. 